welcome back everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Sorry I haven't filmed for a while, I've been really busy and then I wasn't very well, but I thought I'd take the opportunity today to film the garden, whilst the weather's um, okay because it's been really, really wet the last week or so. Um, and then before that we had like a really dry spell and even had a hosepipe ban which I think still applies at the moment. So I haven't really spent a lot of time in the garden over the last month or so. So it's not really looking its best, to be honest. I've got a few plants that need a good water, like these. Um, the Esculenta is not doing as well as it normally does. The nights are starting to get um, a little bit chilly now. So it won't be long before I start. Um, overwintering some of the plants, some of the tender plants, but I'll keep an eye on the weather and then also I'll be packing up the bar for the autumn and winter, which is a bit sad, but I do love autumn um, and that's gonna be one of my other videos. I'm gonna be showing you some of my new autumn decor and um, some of the house plants and things like that. So here's an update on my Sago palm with its new fronds good nice and green this one I do cover for the winter so I'll normally kind of fold all the leaves up and then tie them and then just put um, some horticultural fleece over the top I will be making a video on how I overwinter the plants but if you want to have a look at last year's video just go into my tropical garden playlist and then you'll see how I overwintered the plants last year again the red Abyssinians haven't really done that well this year not really that big. This one's gone a bit yellow. This one was a present um, for my boyfriend um, back in April um, and it was in this little pot and I just kind of left it in there but I think um, next year I'll put it in a, a bigger pot like this one. We've still got a few remaining flowers on the canners. This one's done really well over the summer, it's multiplied quite a bit. The bromeliad still looking all right. As I mentioned in a previous video, I had one of these last year and I just left it out all winter basically and it lasted quite a few months. You can see it started going a bit brown there. But then you've got the new pups here which you can separate from the mother plant and then grow some new bromeliads. But again, I'll probably just leave this one out. I did trim back um, the hot lips and it's gone a bit wild. The hosta has produced quite a few flowers, they're really pretty. My tetrapanix hasn't really done that well this year either, it's not really that big. I would love to get this in the ground possibly next year but I'll have to see where I can put it, a bit limited on space. I haven't done any um, pruning or tidying in the garden for quite a while, which is why it's looking a little bit wild. Oh, I've just noticed some more flower buds coming up on the lily. I thought that was finished. Oh, and possibly there as well. Oh, wow, okay. Looks like that's going to continue to flower. I thought it was done. That is stunning flowers on this are beautiful so that's a nice surprise um, I've got a few exciting things to show you my hibiscus finally flowered although it has been quite battered by the rain that we've had these flowers are very large got quite a few buds there this is a hardy hibiscus that um, I just chopped back for winter and then just mulch over and then it comes back every year um, but yeah it's not looking its best it needs staking up yeah I've had some storms as well so everything's been getting a good battering all the bananas are doing well and I do have a flower on this centre banana I have to go around here to show you very exciting, I've never had a flower on any of my banana plants before. So here is 
a flower and then basically fruit will follow the flower but apparently it's inedible so this will produce bananas hopefully but then unfortunately this mature plant will then die back to the ground so I'm going to lose one of my bananas which is a bit sad but obviously they uh, form clumps and they continue to multiply so it's not a problem I'll get some new ones next year but yeah that was um, a bit of a surprise that hasn't happened before but we did have a really hot and humid summer so obviously the bananas have been appreciating that tree ferns are all doing okay I've even had some new fronds on my big one at the back I did lose quite a few fronds on this um, when I went on holiday it had gone all brown and they kind of flopped right down so I cut them off but luckily it has produced some new ones so that's nice this lily here I just leave to die right back and then once it's died back I'll then cut it and then mulch over it and the chiflera is doing great like a tree now there's no way I'm going to be able to cover that this winter if it snows it's just gonna to have to fend for itself and then I've got my largest banana here I don't know how tall it is but it is absolutely huge and when it comes to chopping off the leaves this year I'll usually kind of cut the leaves off and then hold it up against me so you can see how big they are I actually thought that this banana would be the one that would flower this year if any of them were going to so I was quite surprised um, that it was this one here because that's not quite as big but they're obviously quite happy this year even though um, we did have the host pipe ban and they they weren't watered for quite a few weeks but they were still fine the um, canna musifolia have been doing really well they're getting really tall These don't usually flower in the UK, but that would be very exciting one year if these flowered. This has multiplied quite a lot actually. But again, I'll be showing you how I overwinter everything. I'll just keep an eye on the weather, so it might be um, next month probably when I start the overwintering process. My Canna Cleopatra did not do well at all this year. I think it was too shaded, wasn't getting enough light. So next year I might um, take this banana out um, to give it a bit more light. One of my friends has been off to a banana plant for a while, so I might give him this one. It's quite a good size it's a bit too late in the year now to kind of um, take this one out and grow it in a pot so I think I'll do it in the springtime as I mentioned in the previous video my quarter lines also flowering this year and that's really tall now this one's grown a lot as well since I put it in the ground this was a tiny one in a pot a couple of years ago the Colocasia Pink China haven't really been doing that well this year either. Usually they're in that border, you can see a couple there. They are not looking great. This is one that I um, took out from this border and I just put one here and it has actually multiplied quite a bit. But the leaves haven't got that big. Again, these are winter hardy, so I'll just chop these back and mulch over them. What else have I got to show you? I've still got a couple of Cocosmia flowers, but most of them have finished flowering now. The um, Hydrangea Simanii has also finished flowering, and my Hydrangeas are not looking great this year. I've got one in the front garden that looks okay, but the ones out here look pretty awful. But again, when I went on holiday, they were very um, thirsty when I got back. 
so that probably didn't help and then we had the hose pipe ban. The Fatsia japonicas are looking amazing. Really, really big now. They give such a tropical look to the garden. Very easy to care for and they like shady conditions. So over the next few weeks, I will probably be covering up the bar for the winter to keep it nice and dry. So I have to take everything out, put it in a box, which I usually actually store inside the bar, along with the stools. And I've got a special cover for it that I had made at the time when I had the bar made. All the air plants are still doing really well. But I will be bringing these inside for the winter. I'm not sure where I'm going to be putting those. But as I said, I do need to go around and do a bit of tidying and pruning. But it's been pretty much raining constantly here over the last week or so. We've had a few storms. I've already put my summer clothes away now and got my autumn and winter clothes out. I still actually need to sand and oil the decking, which is on my list. But again, because it's been so wet, I haven't been able to do that. So hopefully I'll be able to do that um, before the autumn properly kicks in. But I just thought I'd give you a little update on the garden. And if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'm actually really looking forward to autumn and winter now. I've had such a good and busy summer that I think I just need to relax and take it easy and keep cozy. So I'm actually really looking forward to it this year. I'm always a bit sad when I have to overwinter the garden and cover the bar, but once it's done, then I just like to enjoy the house and keeping nice and warm and cozy. I will be leaving all my patio furniture out. I'll put the cushions away, but all this will stay out, which is nice so I can still come and sit out here in the winter, even if it's raining. Thanks for watching everyone, take care and I'll see you all soon.